What is this outlet-sized panel under layers of paint? Building dates to the 1940s. There is one of these panels in my living room and another in my bedroom. Even more painted over than this one. My best guess is that it's an outlet for an aerial antenna or some kind of old cable system, but it doesn't look like any that I've seen before. What is it for? It's a TV antenna connection. These systems many times would have an amplifier and antenna on the roof. Both may have been disconnected when cable TV came along. What are these teal green chalky hard packed semi ovals? I had a box of these sitting in the garage from the previous owner. The only markings on the box are the numbers and letters, which did not have any useful results when searched for online. Each bar is approximately 4 inches long by 1 inch wide and half inch thick. Along with the bars, there was a plastic oval cap that fits onto a bar and has a slightly rough surface on the other end. Any ideas? They are plant food spikes, growing up we called them tree spikes. Hammer into the ground using the plastic cap in a circle around our apple tree. Can't say whether they actually help the tree, but the grass would grow like crazy in those spots. What is this orange and white, kite-like thing with a website label I couldn't read? Tied to some kind of attachment piece, spotted 20 to 30 feet up a tree in Vermont. I saw this while I was hiking a while back. It was too high up to get a good look at it. But I'm guessing it's to help find something dropped from a plane or a drone, maybe military, or science research. What is it? It's an orienteering control point, a marked waypoint used in orienteering and related sports, such as raw gaining and adventure racing. It is located in the competition area, marked both on an orienteering map and in the terrain, and described on a control description sheet. No idea why it's so high up. What is this 6 inches ceramic pregnant kangaroo in an apron, knitting a stocking? It has a half inch rectangle hole in the snout, and a small circular hole in the stomach. Looks like it could be homemade, appears to have been taped up at the bottom at some point, any ideas? It's a 1977 lorry design yarn holder, manufactured in Japan. The scissors go into her nose slot and make eyeglasses, the string tail comes out of the hole in the bottom. What is this concrete supports with rusted metal poles and wooden brackets? Found in a village in southwest France, four heavy concrete posts, braced by metal bars, various protruding bars and loops, rough wooden bracing at one end, weird device mounted in the ground, any ideas? It looks like some sort of shoeing stock. This image of a model toy shows the concept of it. I guess it's a shared community facility like a well or oven. But go back 100 years, every farming community is going to be horsey I guess. What is this large metal tube with narrowed front end? Transported with a police escort on an extended flatbed trailer. To the best of my knowledge, I will say that the object is very large, made of some type of metal and has what looks to be cutouts for windows and a door. Any ideas? That's a spindle that Boeing weaves the carbon fiber fuselage for the Dreamliner on. You can see the outlines or punch-outs for windows and doors. The composite fuselage used is 20% lighter and 40% stronger than an aluminum alloy fuselage. The mandrel is made of an alloy called invert or invariable. What are these large concrete man-made structures in the sea in Candy Dasabali? They're close to the shore, there's a lot of them and they follow the shoreline a few meters away from the beach. My best guess is that they're there to force the waves to break further back, so that the sea is calmer where people are swimming. But I'm not sure. Any ideas? They slow down waves to control erosion. You can think of them as artificial reefs or barrier islands. I think the original reef was mined for lime for building construction, so sad. These are found on street corners in Daytona Beach. They appear to just pump water up only for it to go immediately to the storm drain. It doesn't pump water all of the time, and I can't discern if it is on a schedule, or if it follows a lot of rain. What is it for? I run water plants. They are timed valves to keep the water in the distribution lines from getting too old. When the water is in the pipe too long, the chlorine level drops too much, and the water is unsafe. 
What is this brown furry stuff seemingly intentionally on the ceiling of my storage unit building? It is attached to the ceiling and seems almost like moss or mold, but it's everywhere in a commercial unit. The place is air conditioned. It doesn't seem to have an odor, and I'm not touching it. Just want to know what it is to see if my stuff is safe, or if it's going to be covered in it when I come back. I actually work for an industrial and commercial fireproofing company, can't believe I finally get to use my very niche experience to answer one of these. It's fireproofing, an SFRM, or sprayed fire resistive material, most likely gypsum based as long as it was built in the last 20 years. It's required by building code. This type of fireproofing is used to protect from cellulosic fires in commercial construction settings and can protect the steel from degrading for up to four hours in a fire if applied at a high enough thickness, though normally only a 1 to 2 hour rating is required. What is this plier action tool? Possibly a crimper of some sort. Found it in a technical theater educators group that I am a member of. Looks similar to some hog ring pliers, but not quite right. It's possible it could just be a different style of those. Any ideas? It's a Steelpix handheld flower stemming machine, a must-have when creating silk or floral arrangements. It eliminates the need for you to individually wire and tape each stem, because it automatically places a metal Steelpix pick into the flower stem with the pull of a lever. What is this small vessel with an internal vessel and hole? Found this thing at the antique shop I work at. It has a hole that goes into the main vessel, and then another separate vessel inside. No holes in the smaller vessel. It also has no markings on the bottom. It's about 3 inches tall, made of ceramic. Looks like it could be Japanese in origin. What is it? It's a vintage masked Pierrot ink well from the mid-20th century, most likely a German piece, made of hard paste porcelain. It's a rare design with a masked face jester lid. The base is formed by his ruff and a small hole in the ruff for the pen. What is this some kind of large metal exhaust system with multiple arms from one large pipe? Seen in Baltimore, Maryland, it looks quite old, and there are multiple arms coming off one central pipe that has a ring around it. The tips of the arms have partial lids, like the top of a chimney. I would guess it's for some kind of industrial use. Looks like an air-assisted smokeless flare system used in the oil, gas, and chemical industries. It uses blowers to inject assist air directly into the waste gas stream as it exits the tip, resulting in smokeless burning and long flare tip life. What is this object or tool about 5 pounds with a lever that moves up and down, with a spring to hold the lever in the upright position? It's been in the family for years in eastern Pennsylvania, and it's been an ongoing search for this object's use for as long as I can remember. It's 10 inches in length including the handle. It weighs about 5 pounds. I've searched with Google Photos, and all I get are cabinet scrapers which I don't believe this is. What is it? Please tell us in the comments. Thanks for watching. Let's make life fun.